This is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 InterSolar Conference in San Francisco, and I'm here with Hank from Yingli Solar. And uh, he, uh, Hank, can you tell us a little bit about what your company does? Yeah, actually, we are a Chinese PV manufacturer. Uh, we were founded at 1998, and the, the main uh, specialty of our company is that we are integrator manufacturer uh, man from ingot through wafer cells and modules. And from October of this year, we're going to start our own silicon manufacturer base, which makes us the most integrator manufacturer in the world. Great. So you're actually you're, you said you're going to start manufacturing your own silicon for the solar panels? Yes. Yes. That's great. Um, and where are you located right now? Uh, in a city called Baoding, which is uh, near from Beijing in China. And uh, have you expanded into the United States? Yes. Okay. Where do you have your... Uh, do you manufacture in the United States or do you only have distribution offices here? Uh, right now we only have uh, two branch offices, but the main function of the office is, uh, is customer service and also the marketing. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any plans to move some of your manufacturing to the United States? Yes, we, we do have some plans to move our, the module assembly facility to the United States, but right now we are choosing the right place to do that. Yeah. Um, okay, can you talk a little bit about your, do you do only PV panels or do you also do any other solar products? Uh, we only do PV panels but, and it's uh, polycrystalline solar panels. And the next plan is that we're going to start another, right now the capacity of our company is 600 megawatt, which makes us, last year the shipment is around 280, which makes us the, the number six uh, manufacturer in the world. And also, we almost doubled our capacity in 2009. And by the end of July this year, we're going to start another round of capacity expansion of 800 megawatt. And our plan is to reach 1.4 gigawatt by the end of last year, by the end of next year. Sorry. That's great. So can you talk a little bit more about your PV panels and what makes them different than the PV panels from other companies? Yeah. Uh, first, like I said, we are the most integrator, integrate manufacturer in the world, which makes us has the ability to control the cost from the very beginning. And also, like I, like I mentioned, uh, we start manufacture the silicon material by ourselves. So in that case, we can control the cost from the very beginning of the whole module manufacture and also regarding the the cost uh, the cost control we can also control the quality from the very beginning of module production and also you can see right here the the that we have a strategic relationship with the TUV Rhineland which is a top laboratory in the world to control not only the final product but also the whole production chain from the very beginning. Great. Now we were talking before about you know what um, what happens with the solar panels once I think you said they last for 25 years. So if someone uses them and they stop functioning, what can they do with them? Actually, after 25 years, uh, based on our guarantee, we still guarantee to our customer that the power output will have at least 80 percent remain. So if you're going to keep that, it can still generate electricity after, even after 25 years but if you want to you know recycle all the solar panels we can also do that service to our customer um, can you tell us a little bit about sustainability in China and the recycling in China? I'm not really sure what, what, what's the procedure in the country. Actually, there's an association called PV Recycle Association. We just attend the association is to, to recycle all the PV panels after 25 years or maybe after when the customer wants to, to just uh, uh, to, to want us to collect all the modules back. Okay, so if I'm done with my uh, modules and I want to send them back, you'll recycle them for me? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yes, we will. That's great. And um, we were talking a little bit earlier about what the sustainability of the company is. Is there anything else that the company does to be sustainable? Uh, actually, we're building an a industry park around all around our uh, manufacture base. So in that case, I think 
the first is that we are uh, United uh, uh, New York Stock Exchange listed company that makes us to to publish all the important information to our investor, which that everyone can see is that how how well the the operation of the company is. I think this case, and also. Uh, like we said, that uh, the Chinese government has a very strong support, and also the local government of Baoding has a very strong uh, support to our to our company. So in that case, I think it's, our company is very stable. Okay, yeah. Great. Um, now, where are your distribution centers here in the United States? Where would actually get? Where would an installer get the product from? Uh, actually. Based on the demand amount or based on the requirement amount, uh, we do have a specific amount of we call it minimum order amount. That if you has a demand amount that over the minimum order amount, that you can directly purchase the module directly from us. But if you has an amount that not re not reach that limit, so you have to contact our customer regarding to our requirement. You would, can't, you would contact who you said? Uh, our distributor. Oh, okay, your uh, distributor. Yeah, and, wh and where? And it's, it's our customer. It's one of our good customer. One of your, oh, one of your distri distribution customers. Okay. Yes. Um, but where are your distributors located in the country? Actually, right now we only have one distributor here located in the United States. It's called DC Power System. Oh. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I so I would contact DC. Not I would, but let's say um, an integrator yeah. would contact example, DC Power System. If you just purchase or if you just need one container from us, then we, we could not sell to the customer directly. So you have to contact our distributor or our customer. Great. Okay. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I think uh, there's, like I said, we have some plans in the future to, to, to make, uh, uh, for example, to the next around the capacity expansion of 800 megawatt. And also, uh, our silicon manufacturing base will start performance from October of this year. And also at the same time, we're going to start another round of capacity expansion for the silicon manufacturing base of 6,000 tons. And we plan to make it finished within 14 months. Yeah. And also regarding to the high efficiency, because everyone is asking about the high efficiency cells. We also have another plant called Panda cells that not for the, the monocrystalline cells and also for the polycrystalline cells. We use it to increase the cell efficiency to a specific level. Cannot see specific, but it will increase a lot. Great. Uh, one final question, actually. Um, do you have any plans to move any of your manufacturing facilities to the U.S. in order to decrease your carbon output? Yeah, we, we do have a plan in the, in the recent future to establish, like I said, a module, uh, module assembly facility, but not the other process because it won't be cost effective if we move, for example, sail line here or Ingard process here. It won't be cost effective. Great. Okay. Well, Hank, thank you so much yeah. for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's great meeting you. This is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 Inner Solar Conference in San Francisco. Thank you for watching.